Hi family, welcome back into our channel. I am so grateful to be able to come back and give you some words of encouragement because we can never get enough encouragement. Thank all of you for what y'all do on our channel every single day to help bring glory to God. Before we dive into the video, thank you all who are purchasing the book, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness. I want you to know that people did not make a fool out of you. They did not. I want you to understand that all of your suffering is not in vain. It was not in vain. I'm going to repeat that, family. They did not make a fool out of you. Even when people have poor intentions to make a fool out of you, in the end, they will wear that title, not you. Nothing that you go through with in this life is in vain. It is not without purpose. And as difficult as this dark place is that you are in right now, God is asking you to walk this out. Put your name there. I am going to walk this out. You may be in a destitute place. You may be in a, a valley. You may be in a dry place. You may be in a very tight place, but God is asking you to walk this out. God is saying, just walk this out because he's changing you from within. You're going to be like John the Baptist. You're going to be the one that is crying out in the wilderness, making preparation for who is to come, for what is to come. God said, walk it out. Yes, walk it out. You would transcend all limitations. Those of you who are listening, you would transcend all limitations, all of them. So God wants you to unleash the power within you. God wants you to unleash that lion spirit that is within you. Your mind is such a powerful commodity. It is your mind that makes you unstoppable or not. I want you to know that there is more left within you. You may feel that you don't have anything left to give. You may feel as if you don't have anything else to offer because how many times you got knocked down, how many times you've gotten hit, how many losses that you've encountered. But God is telling you to walk this out. There is more left within you. You're going to be so lethal. You're going to be so dangerous because of the mindset that you have today. A transformed mind is absolutely dangerous. And I want you to know that without a shadow of a doubt, family. You're going to make it. You're going to overcome this. You tell yourself that I am going to overcome. I can do all things through Christ who gives me the strength. It is God within you that is going to give you the strength. It is God that is going to work through you. That is going to cause you to get the victories. Keep your hand in God's hand. Don't ever let it go. No matter what walks away from you, don't you dare walk away from God. It doesn't matter who stops talking to you, who stops speaking to you. Don't ever stop talking to God. Don't ever stop speaking to God. Don't ever stop worshiping and honoring God. He deserves all of our honor and God deserves all of our praise. God has not forsaken you. God has not forgotten you. You might feel lonely, but you're not alone because God is there. He's right there with you. And he's wrapping his loving arms around you. And he's breathing life in your spirit. He's breathing life on everything that does not look fruitful. Whatever that is barren and unproductive and unfruitful in your life, 
God is going to resuscitate these places. God is going to resuscitate the areas of your life that you believe he cannot use or do anything with. God takes the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. Why does he do this? Because he's God. And besides him, there is no other. He's a sovereign God. He's his own boss. He does whatever he wants to do, when he wants to do it, and however he chooses to do it. And he does it through the vessel that he chooses to do it through. God said, walk this out. You walk this out because you will transcend all limitations. You're going to unleash the power that is within you. You are unstoppable. You are unmovable. And you are always abound in the blessings of the Lord. You have more left within you. This is not how your story is going to end. It's not. It doesn't matter how much of a fool people think they've made out of you. That would never be your testimony. Whatever you go through with, know that it was not in vain. Know that God is going to take all these things that you've gone through with and he's going to work them together for your good. And he's going to get the glory out of your life. He's going to get the glory out of your brokenness. He's going to get the glory out of your pain. He draws close to those of us who are of a broken and of a contrite spirit. A dark place is difficult. It's complicated. You may have to feel your way. In a blackout. You have to feel your way 